there's a whistleblower from the CDC who's going to come out and say that the CDC had committed fraud on the MMR study and that they knew that vaccines were actually causing autism. This is such a uh, polarizing topic, but when you hear that there's a crack in the wall of the CDC, it's just huge. It's the biggest story I could ever imagine. The CDC had known all along there was this MMR autism risk. Incredibly enlightening and frustrating and a whole bunch of emotions right now, but definitely, definitely enlightening and very informative. I feel mostly affirmed after watching the film, but I am always looking for more information and I'm glad that this, this documentary did involve a lot of data. It means a lot to me as a Canadian working on this because this isn't just an American problem. One in 46 kids is, that's an international problem. This, this issue is, it's not an American issue and, and I've always found that whatever happens in the States usually eventually ends up happening in, in Canada as well. I think it's an important film because the, the narrative has been very one-sided. People, once they see it, their reaction a lot of times is, I had no idea. And so all we want to do is get people to start thinking and then having discussions on their own. Because they'll, they'll really start questioning uh, what they're being told by their doctors and pediatricians. The reactions have been incredible. People who come out of this film, there's, there's tears and then people get angry. You who run our health agencies in this country, you have an obligation to make sure that these studies are complete, thorough, so that we have all the facts. Well, it's very important because people didn't get two sides of the story. You can't just have one side of the story and make a decision. This is a chapter in a book of a lot of other chapters where informed consent's kind of, uh, there's a lot of talk, but less action around informed consent. I feel probably more strongly than I did going into the film. Uh, vaccine questioning and vaccine safety has always been something on my mind. It's been uh, more so prevalent in the last four years since having my own children. Um, I don't feel like the film, again, brought up anything new, but it definitely solidified some of the uh, issues revolving around vaccine safety, and I felt like it was done really, really well. CDC's judgment, the best public policy is to continue vaccination unchanged. And as far as vaccination, I have stopped. I will not do it anymore. Son that has autism, he fits the classic diagnosis. I mean, the classic journey. 18 months, the MMR vaccine, fell into a fever of 104.5, he melted. It was a story that needed to be told and it was well told. I think it's a great film, but it's the message that it's getting out to people. People are just absolutely loving it, and, but, it but it is, it's making them motivated to go out and, and want to uh, institute some sort of change.